Today, we're talking about solid state drives, specifically ones from a company called Crucial. And thank you so much, Crucial, for sponsoring today's video. Last year, the year before that, I was using traditional hard drives. And guess what? I lost over eight terabytes of footage because my hard drives either fell to the ground and broke, or they just stopped working altogether. Yes, some of those were my fault, but if the hard drive was made better, or if they were an SSD like these ones here, well, most likely I would have my footage still here, ready to be edited. But anyway, I wanna to talk to you about the X8 and the X6 SSDs from Crucial. These are two really sleek SSDs. They both come in two different flavors, one terabyte and two terabyte. And the X8 is actually an aluminum drive, while the other one, the X6, is plastic. They also have two different read and write speeds. The X8 comes in at 1050 megabytes per second read speed, and the X6 comes in at 540 megabytes per second read speed. And don't worry, we're gonna do a real life test of both of these drives put to work. Here's a quick side note. If you go to crucial.com, you'll notice that they don't only make external SSDs, but they have a ton of different components to make your own personal computer a lot faster. So if this is something that you're looking for, go ahead and check out their website too. Now here's a pro tip. Since these drives are so small, you can take a piece of Velcro or a little mounting square and just stick it to the lid of your laptop and have it plugged in all the time. You will never lose your SSD and you'll always have that extra available storage for you to transfer over your footage. Now, it doesn't really matter on the read and write speeds of either the X6 or X8. When it came down to editing footage off of either of these drives, they both performed phenomenally well. I actually had to use proxy files a lot less simply because my computer was able to read data off of these drives a lot quicker than let's say on a hard drive. Both of these SSDs are powered by a USB-C port. The X6 comes with a traditional USB-C cable, so does the X8, but with the X8, you also get a full USB adapter. All right, so here we are inside of the disk speed test by Blackmagic. I'm gonna go ahead and select the target drive. We're gonna start off with the X8 and compare it to the X6. So with the write speed on average, we get about 925 megabytes per second, and the read speed, we get about 950 megabytes per second. Now let's move over to the X6 drive and compare it. Now you can see that the X6 is significantly slower than the X8 coming in at a write speed of about 458 megabytes per second and the read speed at 523 megabytes per second. Now let me compare the X8 to a traditional hard drive that comes in at 7200 RPM. So here's my traditional hard drive, comes in at 7200 RPM. It's also supposed to be shock resistant, but because my previous bad luck with hard drives, this is not leaving my house. <laughs> All right, so let's start the test with the traditional hard drive. Here we go. Wow. I can't believe I've been editing on this drive for so long, coming in at such slow speeds. 59.2 write speed. Read speed is a little bit higher, coming in at about 65. So definitely a major difference between a hard drive and an SSD. Don't forget an SSD has zero, zero moving parts, while a hard drive has a spinning disc. And plus, hard drives are not nearly as quiet as an SSD. For example, this is what a hard drive sounds like. Uh, it's just loud and annoying, man. I, to give you some real world results, check out how long it takes to transfer this Final Cut file. It's about 34.56 gigs. This is going on to the X8 drive. It takes about less than a minute to transfer that amount of data. Now let's compare it to a hard drive. Here's the hard drive. Now look at the transfer time. It's gonna take about eight or nine minutes to transfer that same data. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this video with the X8 and X6 SSD drives from Crucial. If you're interested, check out the link down below. And as usual, I'll see you in another video. Peace.